We are almost at the end, I think. We have uh, some stuff to explore yet. There's this one, a software manager. So if you're really new to, to Linux, you really don't know what what's, uh, kind of software you want or what's available, what you need and what's best. So when running a software manager, you can get an idea of what's interesting. You have here, for instance, Featured. Well, VLC you'll probably know, Firefox as well, Gpart it is a bit specific, it's really for partitioning your hard drive, not really necessary, but I install it all the same, because well, most of the PCs I have are Windows and Linux, well, lately all, all those computers are only Linux, but it's interesting to study the partitions and, and so on. GIMP is a Photoshop um, um, alternative. Wine is to running Windows stuff under Linux. FileZilla is an FTP. Skype, you know what it is. Burning CDs, listening, music. Well, it's not listening, it, it's editing, it's, it's all kind of uh, sound manipulating software. Thunderbird is uh, mail, but recently I've gone over to Geary, I think it's called. Uh, let's have a quick look at the... oh no, it's not yet installed. I think it's written like this. So I'm I'm not so much a Thunderbird fan anymore. Genie is interesting for scripting tools and so on. But, as this, uh, just a quick look. Sublime Text, I think it's a better one. Just personal information, you do with it what you like. Inkscape is for vector drawing like like him uh, very artistic uh, program this is for torrents but the program or Linux Mint has already a torrent program transmission so we don't need it as a player music player pigeon is for chatting we have it already so when there is something green on the side here well the icon is different that's because of the theming so this one we have it already and gaming gaming and gaming stuff playing mute we have a vlc to do that as a player uh, calibre is for books and epubs and mob tree stuff games eclipse is for java dropbox um, uh, copy and mega all have been tested everything works i do must say that mega was a very slow in uploading so Dropbox was the faster of the three copy is ok and Dropbox rules just in speed music rhythm box sometimes compared with iTunes well I wouldn't know you see this icon on top here that's what I do shutter is interesting it's the same as this little uh, not Kazam um, this one screenshot uh, so you can have a, a quick uh, way to just grab the whole screen part of the screen or just whatever you want so shutter is more of well it's, it's indeed a feature rich screenshot program it does much more than the one I just saw you just saw because I see it Hatch Wars uh, games and stuff Steam Launcher the games that are available under Linux will work under Linux so that's nice. This desktop publishing, let's say publisher or things like that. Um, record my desktop. Well, I use Kazam for that. Amarok Music, Fuse, Torrent, Burning again. So there's a lot of software available, and that's only the featured ones. So there's 7,100, 71,000, let's say 72,000 packages available that you can download and check out but well, mainly you, you just like type something like this I don't know torrent I don't know just the first word that came to mind and you just check what's available here uh, information or you want to zip something and you just zip and you see what's available as zipping okay so that's the software manager